So let's see. Let's be, let's do a little sound test here. I didn't know. Uh, it's uh, yeah the humming. So let's see. I have a different mic, and uh, I hadn't realized that this could be interactive with this whole chat uh, window. So maybe it's worthwhile getting the sound. We're still working on getting the sound right, and uh, so I guess you're part of the experiment. I see a big yes, much better. Oh, much better. Whoa. Okay. Okay, okay. That's enough. Thank you. So I will. We'll get started here, then. So um, we'll start all over again because uh, I, there's so many buttons here, and I also have to remember to push the audio dharma button so we have an audio recording of this. And um, okay. Okay, my friends. So we're going to sit to meditate. So taking an upright posture, except for those of you who are doing this uh, the upright metaphorically. Maybe you're laying down. The uprightness is not just physical, it's also a state of mind to be upright to be, have a certain strength, a certain dedication, to sit here, to be present, to be aware, with some intention, some sense of purpose, the purpose to be aware. And some strength in that, some uprightness that doesn't easily get swayed by the circumstances of things coming and going. And when we first sit down, it can be helpful to do something physical, to let our physical body be the support for becoming established here and now, in this body, at this place, and it could be how uh, to actually move your body. You could sway back and forth a bit, maybe uh, wide arcs first, and then make the arcs go smaller, feeling yourself settling in on your sitting bones or setting in on the place. You could also uh, rock forward and back two or three times, mostly to see if you can, when you slow down, you can get yourself again established with a balanced weight on your sitting bones. So the weight of your body travels through your spine. And then also to have your body help you to arrive and connect to this moment it can be helpful to take deeper breaths, perhaps the deepest breaths you've taken this week. <clears throat> and if you take a deep breath in, then maybe a long exhale, maybe longer than you normally would, to really feel the body exhale, once or twice at the beginning. It can be nice to exhale so, f so long and full, fully, that you feel the body's longing to take an in-breath. The body has a deep instinct, deep ability to keep breathing. And then letting the body, the let the breathing return to normal. And a little bit more subtle part of this starting ritual is to relax. Maybe starting around the forehead and temples. As you exhale, 
softening around the eyes. Softening the shoulders, feeling the pull of gravity. Maybe as you exhale, to let there be a softening in the chest and the area around the heart. Softening the belly. And then the next step in what today I'm calling the ritual of beginning is to directly and intentionally see if you can settle your body and settle your attention on the body's experience of breathing. Some people feel the movements of the belly, which has the advantage of being kind of a low center of gravity. And to compose ourselves, settle ourselves into the belly and feel the movements as we breathe. Some people are more pulled towards the movements of the chest. Perhaps feeling the center of the chest or any tenderness that's in the chest as you breathe. Feeling the movement, rhythm of that tenderness as you breathe in and out. Or the sensations of the air going in and out through the nostrils, upper lip. Perhaps feeling the coolness, the freshness of the air as you breathe in. The warmness as you breathe out. Settling into that refreshing, refreshment and comfort of warmness, perhaps. And some people will feel the whole breath body, feel the wide experience of the body breathing. The final little initial step in this beginning ritual is to do three breaths, counting to three each breath, and do so with a gentle, kind, wholeheartedness, as if you're abandoning yourself to just breathing for three breaths. And then after those three breaths,
See if your awareness of breathing can be receptive. And not so much that you're directing attention to breathing as it is that you are making space in the mind, in awareness, for the experience of breathing to reveal itself, to arise and pass. And perhaps just one inhale at a time, one exhale at a time. Being content to just allow the inhale to be known. To be content just allowing the exhale to be known in awareness. And being content with each inhale and exhale is that's, that's the only thing you have to be aware of. Just that, just inhale as you inhale, exhale as you exhale. No need to be concerned with breathing the right way or some special way of focusing on the breath except for being receptive, allowing, being aware of just how breath, breathing appears to you in all the variations, one breath to another. And if you have a lot of concerns, thoughts, it's okay. Let them recede a little bit into the background. You don't have to struggle against them. But maybe you can put breathing, allow breathing to be at the center of what you become aware of. And every time you could wander off in thought, open again to the experience of breathing. Allow it to come.
as we come to the end of this sitting, see if you can stay receptive in your awareness, curious about if you're just, if you don't try to do anything when you hear the bells, except stay aware, notice the shifts and changes that happen inside of you. What happens to your thinking, your feelings, your wishes to move. If you stay receptive and just noticing, what do you notice that changes as you hear the three bells ending the sitting? 